Have you ever wondered about the stories that ancient walls could tell if they could talk? What tales would the iconic Red Fort of Delhi whisper to us? This historical marvel, standing tall at the heart of India's capital, is more than just a monument. It's a testament to the rich tapestry of Indian history, a silent witness to the rise and fall of empires and the changing tides of time. The Red Fort isn't merely a fort, it's a symbol, a beacon of India's vibrant past, the stage for many pivotal moments that shaped the nation. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Red Fort is an architectural masterpiece, a fusion of Persian, Timurid, and Hindu traditions. Its intriguing history and timeless beauty have captivated the world and continue to draw millions of visitors each year. So, join us as we delve into the compelling chronicles of the Red Fort. The year was 1638. Emperor Shah Jahan, a lover of architecture, decided to shift his capital from Agra to Delhi. In the heart of Delhi, Shah Jahan envisioned a grand fort that would not only serve as his palace, but also as a symbol of his mighty empire. Thus, the concept of the Red Fort, originally known as Kila e Mubarak or the Blessed Fort, was born. Shah Jahan's vision was to create a fortress that was not only an architectural marvel, but also a testament to the prosperity and power of the Mughal Empire. The Red Fort was to be a place where the emperor could conduct affairs of state, live in luxury, and display his immense wealth to visiting dignitaries. The construction of the Red Fort began in the year 1638, and it took an impressive nine years to complete. It was built using red sandstone, a material that was abundant in the region and lent the fort its distinctive color and name. The fort's layout was carefully planned incorporating elements of Persian, Timurid, and Hindu architecture. The fort's walls stretched an impressive two kilometers in length, and within those walls, Shah Jahan created a city, complete with palaces, gardens and a grand bazaar known as the Chata Chauk. Each building within the fort was a masterpiece in its own right, filled with intricate carvings, inlaid precious stones and breathtaking frescoes. The centerpiece of the fort was the Diwani Khas or Hall of Private Audiences where Shah Jahan met with courtiers and state guests. This hall was particularly renowned for its peacock throne, an opulent seat of gold encrusted with diamonds, rubies and other precious stones. Despite its fortifications, the Red Fort wasn't just a military structure, it was a vibrant city within a city, a microcosm of the Mughal Empire at its peak. It was here that Shah Jahan held court, entertained guests and lived in opulent luxury. Thus the Red Fort, a symbol of power and grandeur was born. The Red Fort witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the ebb and flow of power. This majestic fortress, with its towering red sandstone walls, has been a silent observer of the unfolding tapestry of history. Not long after its completion, the Red Fort became a symbol of power, witnessing the zenith of the Mughal Empire. However, the tides of time are ever-changing. In 1857, the Red Fort experienced a seismic shift in its destiny. The British, in the aftermath of the Sepoy Mutiny, seized control of the fort. The Mughal Emperor was exiled, and the fort was transformed into a colonial stronghold. The Red Fort, once a symbol of Mughal grandeur, was now a symbol of British imperialism. But even in the face of adversity, the Red Fort was not to be silenced. Its walls whispered stories of resistance and resilience. As the winds of change swept across the Indian subcontinent in the early 20th century, the Red Fort found itself at the heart of the Indian independence movement. It was here that the Indian National Congress raised the flag of a free India for the first time, marking a pivotal moment in the fort's history. In the years that followed, the Red Fort has borne witness to countless political and cultural transformations. It has been used for diverse purposes, from a military base to a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It has seen its architecture altered, its treasures looted, and yet its spirit remains undeterred. The Red Fort has evolved, adapting to the changing times yet retaining its historical significance. Despite the trials and tribulations the Red Fort has stood the test of time. Its story is not just of bricks and mortar but of a nation's struggle for freedom, of political upheavals and of cultural exchanges. It is a story that continues to unfold, with each passing day adding another layer to its rich tapestry. The Red Fort stood as a silent spectator its walls echoing the tumultuous history of a nation. This grand edifice with its rich past continues to stand tall, a beacon of resilience and a testament to the enduring spirit of India. Today, the Red Fort stands not just as a historical monument, but a symbol of India's past, present and future. 
This majestic piece of architecture, bathed in the rich hue of red sandstone, continues to play a pivotal role in contemporary India. Every year, on the 15th of August, the Prime Minister hoists the national flag here, marking the day India broke the shackles of British rule. The Red Fort is not just about grandeur and political ceremonies, it's a buzzing hub of activity, drawing tourists from around the globe. Its intricate carvings, expansive gardens and magnificent halls never fail to mesmerize. It's a place where history whispers from every corner, yet it is very much alive and relevant in today's India. Beyond its physical beauty, the Red Fort holds a special place in the hearts of Indians. It's a symbol of resilience, a testament to the nation's journey through time. The Red Fort, a testament to India's rich history, continues to inspire and captivate its stories etched in red sandstone. So what makes the Red Fort more than just a collection of ancient buildings? It's the stories that echo through its corridors, the footprints of a bygone era etched into its walls, and the whispers of history that still linger. The Red Fort is more than just a monument, it's a testament to the rich tapestry of our heritage. This majestic fort has been the silent witness to the rise and fall of empires, the transformation of dynasties, and the evolution of cultures. It has stood resolute through the tide of time, bearing witness to the birth of a nation and the struggle for its independence. Its majestic arches and towering walls have seen victories celebrated and defeats mourned. They've heard the laughter of royalty, the cries of soldiers and the cheers of freedom fighters. This is the legacy of the Red Fort. As we step into the future the Red Fort remains a vivid reminder of our past, a symbol of our resilience, and a beacon of our aspirations. History is not just about dates and events, it's about understanding the journey of humanity. And through the Red Fort, we get a glimpse of that journey.